it's this earth spinning in its orbit is simple or complex. Think about it. When you think about all the moving parts, it is complex beyond complex. <laughs> we can't even t describe to you the amount of forces and things that are taking place that keep your earth spinning in its orbit in perfect proximity to other planets. This is complexity that you can't even define. But the sun simply came up this morning. Did you notice? <laughs> so if you can accept that all everything that is necessary for the fulfillment of everything that you want is not only already in place, it's already working for you. And that your singular work, your simple, 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 simple work is just to accomplish an atmosphere around you that allows the realization to show up when it does. It feels complex when you need to know every single thing even even a trip Esther will think about a trip now we're gonna we're gonna show you something that she used to do she doesn't do it anymore but she used to think about the trip and she used to think about all the places that she'd be going and then she'd think about the the traffic on the way to the parking garage and then she'd think about the parking garage and the distance from the parking garage to the checking of the luggage and then she'd think about all those machines and those contraptions and then she'd think about the security and going through the security and then she'd think about the lines at the security and then she'd think about the timing and then she'd think about finding the gate and then she'd think about being comfortable at the gate and then she'd think about is the airplane going to show up or isn't it going to show up and is it going to come on time and am I going to get to where I need to be and when I get and when I get out there when I get to the other place will the driver that's supposed to pick me up will he be there to pick me up and will he recognize him me and will he have a sign and will and will other people have already seen my name on the sign and will be there a cluster of people around the, <laughs> the, the sign and, and when I get get in the car will he know where he's going and and and, and then she just thinks kill me now I don't want to go <laughs> why would anyone want to put themselves through that why why would anyone want to put themselves through that but when she thinks when she but when she realizes that it always works and it always flows and every airport is different and every airport has signs to let you know where to go. Some airports have trains, some airports have trams, some airports have, airports have moving walkways. Esther doesn't need to, please give me a look. Does this airport have a train, a tram, or a moving walkway? I need to know in advance because I need to think <laughs> this all through. I need to, and so what we are getting at here is that the complexities of the way your life will unfold are, there are details that there just aren't even enough hours or words to explain to you all of the moving parts that are making up the perfection of your complex life. But if you would understand that your work is not to deal with the complexities, because most of those complexities have been a trajectory that's already been taken place, already ta been taken care of. And that your singular work is just to find some way to focus yourself into an emotional mood or atmosphere that puts you in the place of being able to, can you feel all the words that we're finding here? Being able to realize the path when it's in front of you. And when you feel insecure, it's because you haven't been accomplishing that, that, that feeling of, of being able to realize. And so you've been standing in that place of trying to figure out too many things. You cannot think about what's going to happen later now with any sort of precision. In other words, you can't step off the curb before the curb is there to step off of. And trying to think about all the curbs that you're going to step off of and up onto in even the next 24 hours would make you crazy if you tried to identify it. And your mind tells you easily, well, of course I don't want to do that. I can use my eyes to see what I need to step off of and what I need to step up onto. I have the senses to move through the world. And what we're wanting you to understand is that you have vibrational senses to move through the world too. And as you are just centering yourself more, as you are trying less hard, as you are efforting less, as you are just looking for those simple things that cause you to feel good more. And when you find them, just milk them, do more of those things. 
what you're going to discover, and we know you know this because you've lived it before, you step into that place of clarity. No one, no one would ever be writhing in the discomfort of being in confusion if they had not known the feeling of clarity. Mm. You see? And so you're just not trusting yourself. They, you started out by explaining to us that you are so untrustworthy, you had to be medicated. <laughs> You're so untrustworthy, you see. And we say, the whole world, by those standards, should be on serious medication. <laughs> because you are so fragmented, looking at so many moving parts, trying to sort things out there, out there in the conditions where you have no power. You cannot control those conditions, and when you try, you get fragmented. There's only one thing that you can control, and that's the atmosphere around you. You can control that. And if you'll find a way to feel it, if you'll find a way to do it, if you'll decide when you wake up that you're wobble-free mostly and you mean to stay that way, and then you will just find those wobble-free thoughts going general, general, general. Just ask yourself again and again, do I prefer this to this and let it be emotions? Do I prefer this to this, this to this? Until, of course, it's so simple. Of course I'd rather love than hate. Hmm. Of course I would. Of course I'd rather feel clarity than confusion. Of course I would. And if you do that enough, you will create that atmosphere, that law of attraction will then generate more and more thought from until you'll be living very fast moving, very exhilarating, very high passion experiences with no angst, with only ease. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. But have you ever heard anybody say you can't get there from there? You can't get there as easily from there. You can get there. We've written how many books and how many processes to help you take this chaos and bring it down to a place that's more uh, manageable. Now we just want to say to you, wake up there and stay there as long as you can. Wake up there and stay there as long as you can. Wake up there and stay there as long as you can. And if somebody brings friction into your experience, just look at them and say, I so want to love you and you make it so hard. <laughs> Just go away for a little while because when you're not here in my face like this, you're easy to love. <laughs> and I so want to love you. Loving you is what I do, but just go away just for a little while longer so that I remember how much I love you, okay? And say that to every condition that you can't control, which is every condition. Mm -hmm. Till I'm stable, till I'm there, till I'm sure. Esther sat for a few weeks, for about an hour in the morning, looking out at something off one of her porches and with a notebook in front of her and just focused on one week, she just wrote fun, 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 and just sat. Now we know that sounds ridiculously boring, but she just sat with what the feeling of fun is. Fun, it's just a word, fun, fun, fun. And then she'd think, well, fun, funny, fun, comedy, fun, laughing, fun, 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 and fun, 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 fun. And then she began thinking fun, interested, interest, interesting things are fun. I like to be interested, fun is interesting, interesting. Things are fun. I really like to be interested. Fun, 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 fun. And before she knew it, just from that week or two of, of vibrational preparation, a whole stream of really interesting and really fun things began to flow into her experience. Things that she had never considered ever, 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 ever. She bought season tickets to the Spurs basketball games <laughs> and takes full credit for their championship. <laughs> she doesn't take credit for it, but she loved every minute that she was involved in it. That was fun. That was way fun. That was way more fun than anything that she ever thought that would be. Not only was it fun, it was interesting. There's way more to that than you know. Did you know? There's way more to all of that. Such fun, such pleasure, such delight she took from that, you see. 
And so you're not just going to sit and write the word fun until you devolve into a conditionalless state where you're just content to be. That's not how this works. When you focus without resistance and law of attraction, which is always active, is now responding to your resistanceless vibration that you've got going on. The momentum begins to carry you into things and you don't feel lost. You feel sure. You don't feel stifled. You feel sure. You're not wondering what's the right step. You know what it is. You don't feel controverted. You don't feel confused. You don't feel like, well, you need to talk to this person and see what they think and this person and see what they think and this person. You don't need to talk to anybody and see what anybody thinks because what anybody thinks hasn't got anything to do because you know what to do. You know where to step. It's a feeling of vitality and clarity and certainty and knowing and nothing will ever, and nothing less than that will ever be enough for you. You can't go back. None of you, you can't go back. It should have been on the disclaimer. I acknowledge once I learn this stuff, once I learn about law of attraction, it'll have me. <laughs> and once I learn about my emotions, I will never be able to stand myself in resistance again. I must get into vibrational alignment with who I am. You have to, you got to, you got to, if you're going to feel good and you got to feel good because that's who you are. Nothing else will do for you. Nothing else will do for you. So as humans, we love you so much. You've been looking for love in all the wrong places, looking for clarity in all the wrong places, looking in all the wrong places. Who knew there was in that simple emotional determination? Would I rather feel good than bad? Come on, Abraham. Come on, Abraham, really? Okay, I'll play your silly game. Good, I'd rather feel good than bad. I'd rather feel clarity than confusing. Oh, this is gonna go on, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, I choose clarity over confusion. Do you rather feel empowerment or disempowerment? Empowerment. Do you rather feel enthusiasm or lethargy? Enthusiasm. In other words, play it just a little while and restore yourself to your natural set point. You'll feel like that child born into this amazing opportunity. No resistance and yet a vortex full of things that you've decided that you want. And now you're doing step three and those things will be realized by you a little more every day. People say, where are you going? I don't know, I just like where I am. Really? <laughs> really, you don't have any goals? Oh yeah, well, what are they? I'm gonna live happily ever after. <laughs> no, I mean, what do you really want? I want so much, I can't even articulate it. Yeah, well, just give me a little bit. I wanna feel good. Yeah, but there's gotta be more that you want. No, I just wanna feel good. Well, don't you want money and, and well, I just want to feel good. However it comes, I just want to feel good. I just want to feel good. Money will probably be part of that. Freedom is really part of feeling good. I'll take it as it comes. I'll take it as it comes. And when you get to that place that you are willing to take it as it comes, but you've prepared the environment for what's coming. Now you've got it. Complexity that will knock people over who will watch you because they will be amazed at the details of the life that you are living. But ease, because you're taking it all in stride, because you are using the leverage of the energy that creates worlds, because you're not counting on only the things that you walked through and remembered and tried to store around in your storage cabinet, which doesn't even exist. Instead, you're transmitting and receiving mechanism. So you're receiving the clarity of thought. You've got infinite intelligence that's feeding signals to you and information to you. So that the impulse to go, Esther's begun saying to herself, I'm going to follow the impulse of my desire. I'm going to follow it. If I get an impulse to go get in the car and go somewhere, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to look on my appointment book and see, was that, oh, that wasn't scheduled. That's what wasn't scheduled. That's just frivolous to get in the car and do that. Follow the impulse that says begin to come and watch the way you rendezvous with the other moving parts that the source within you knows are out there moving about. And can you imagine a world where more and more of you are following those impulses that are coming from that broader perspective? Can you imagine how many magnificent rendezvous you're going to have with the others who are doing the same thing, you see? Oh.